All right, so we played Tekken twice, and I think I'm ready to tackle the new game that is Tekken 8. And as a noob, honestly, this game felt so much harder than when I played Tekken 7, and you'll see why what I mean very soon. And maybe it didn't help because I actually picked a pretty hard character to play as. Also, please like and subscribe because it really does help out the video to reach a bigger audience, and I want to show new players that, hey, playing fighting games to get better ain't too scary of an experience. And without further ado, let's play 100 games. You know what we do here. We jump into a game without even practicing. This might be the most popular character, probably. Reyna? Oh, it's my also promotion match. Oh my god, this is sick. Whoa, this stage is cool. Okay, I don't even know what the heck to do. So this is like Heiachi's daughter? Like, so she's like, she would have like a, a wit god fist? A try. Oh my god, that's so funny. She has a wind god fist, dude. Oh my god, I'm getting wrecked. Okay, I gotta focus, I gotta focus. Oh my god, does Kazuya stuff work? Like, does she have... Oh my god, I'm getting destroyed by myself. Oh my lord. God, this pressure is so crazy, dude. What am I doing? Dude, I, I literally got destroyed so fast, dude. Hey, look, it shows Papa John's. It shows his rank. That's so cool. It shows your friend's rank. All right, so Reyna is a new character, and there was, like, no guides out at her at the time because I played, like, right when this game came out. So what really helped me learn was the new replay feature. Bro, you can jump into replays now? This is the sickest thing. Oh, dude, why does not every fighting game have this? I can literally just blab out, like, what I could do better. That is so sick. Oh, my God. Dude, learning in Tekken is going to be so much easier than last game. And on top of that, I just wanted to look up one match of a replay of the highest rated Reyna. And after watching some replays, I wrote down just a few moves I could start off with, which are 1-1-2, one, one, the classic electric wind god fist, my frame 15 launcher, DF2, DF1-1, one, one, up 4, dash into 2-2-2-2, two, 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 two. forward 4, her any direction plus three, which puts her in this stance called the Sentai stance. And you could just do like a bunch of attacks from the stance that I don't really understand yet. And so I put those techniques on my second monitor so I could eventually memorize them. And for game two, I played against Kazuya and I was pretty cocky because I just played Kazuya in the last video. So I'm like, oh, I'll probably like beat him, right? Except he has a lot of different moves now. Oh God. Oh. Oh, you could do that from the hell sweep? Oh, man. <laughs> uh, she doing the wrist face. What the heck? Oh, no. I'm getting hit by the scrub killer, dude. Dang, I feel like I even do crap, brother. And so I wanted to check if she did have some moves from Kazuya. And with a little research, Reyna actually could do the Kazuya 50-50 Hell Sweep by mixing up four after the Hell Sweep or mixing up two after the Hell Sweep. Next game was Alars, and don't you hate it when you lab out a combo in practice mode and then when you're in an actual match, like nothing works? Ugh, I did my launcher, and I still, like, messed up the combo. I literally just practiced it, dude. What the heck? Oh, that move puts me in the heat thing? That's the new heat stance. I, I don't know what to do when I'm in heat, though. I know the hell sweep, though. And now I feel like I should have learned, like, s at least something to do in heat, because it seems everyone knew what to do when they're in heat. Holy fuck. Brick. No, come on. I'm dropping the combo. Dude, that's all the potential damage I'm running out. <laughs> you can see his thing. Pull up mine. <laughs> you can see his assist mode that he pulls up mid game. So instead of hitting like the combo, I guess it's too hard for me to actually apply in game, but it's easy enough in practice mode. So I just did like a very simpler version of the combo. I don't know. I just pressed one and two. Ooh. 
think I'm just doing Kazuya stuff, Loki. <laughs> Dude, I can't hit that. Like, I'm really trying. Like, I, I'm missing the up four, like, every time. And then I said something that's going to bite me back in the butt. That's going to be very surprising if I get a first win this early. My wins, my first wins are usually so much later in the challenge. Oh, God. God, I don't even know what I'm supposed to even be blocking right now. A new player like me, it's, man, it's so hard to recognize certain attacks that they do. Oh, that's a low? Okay. Oh, wait. He's, he's probably going to come back. <laughs> he's learning. No! <laughs> Alright, I'm need. I'm going to look at the replay to see, like, what I could do better. And I just love, you could see, like, what moves you could clearly dodge... What, and it tells you like combos you could be doing that's just better than what you did. Like for example, a combo I did was 32 damage versus the one it tells me to do instead, I could be getting 44 damage. That is just sick. New tech unlocked forward forward two, which is safe on block. So I kept just spamming forward forward two and it was, <laughs> uh, it was working. But uh, I was overconfident with that move cause Alyssa started to adapt. destroyed it's so hard man Tekken's hard dude being able to do damage in practice mode but not in actual game was starting to get to me dude come on I could do the combo fine in practice mode dude oh that was perfectly timed dang why am I not blocking that Uh, you, you know what? That's the closest I got to actually finishing the combo, though. So uh, I'll take that as a dub. I didn't know that the character customization was actually pretty cool. Whoa! Law's black? That's not Law. That's like Drake. Oh my god. I don't know if this will hit, to be honest. Oh, okay. Okay, first rage art I got. Whoa. Sometimes in the heat of the moment of matches, you forget that you actually have stuff that you're trying to learn, and I'm just only like doing two moves. Man. Oh, this is rough, brother. You want to learn martial arts? God, I hate that voice, dude. And then even though I'm struggling trying to apply all the stuff I'm learning, I added another thing. Down forward two. It's like my only move to use while in a crouch. Bro, this is kind of cool. Been playing against new characters every single... Like, we're on game 8, and we played against a new character every time. Which is pretty nice that it's like people are playing everyone, but it's kind of hard for me to remember who does what. Oh god, the time's running out. Wait. Oh, I got it with the rage art, brother. Oh, is the killing one. Sick. Whoa. That looked painful. I wonder what grab that was, too. Like, I gotta keep in mind that. And man, this Azucena was, like, just camping me the whole time. That's whack. And then I wanted to use the move I just learned. Finally got it. Let's go. But no matter how many new moves I'm learning and stuff, it just felt like everyone just had way better fundamentals than me. Man, I suck so much dong, dude. And now here's me complaining about 112, something I don't figure out till later in the video. 112, what you could do after is really good. I just didn't realize it at this point. I kind of like don't want to hold forward after that because I get too close and I feel like I can't be that close. I have to hold back after I do 1-1-2. One, one, so we played against a king for the first time and surprisingly this didn't happen to me in Tekken 7. Chain throws. 
I'm you have I'm mashing like one or two and I still get like mega mixed up and then the throw just keeps going. Oh, grabs, dude. Oh my god. It just keeps going. Am I do I have to do something? Oh my god. And sadly, this is gonna happen for a while in the video is me just trying to figure out like when is it safe to attack back? Got his toes. And then I find out that rage arts are invincible to grabs. Come on. Grab. Oh, that's not good. Frick. Oh, he's got me. Oh, he just throws you. Oh my god, that looks sick. Damn. And then this happened. Yes, first win. <laughs> Want to rank the match. Let's freaking go. We go into first stand, baby. Let's go. And then I finally completed an actual combo that the replay tip gave me. Okay, I did my combo. And what sucks about playing against King is that you need to know his grab animations, but I don't. So I'm just spamming, I think, two here, hoping to break out of his grab. Hey, what grab is that, brother? And what also sucks that I'm learning is that King could just grab you when you're waking up. Without a get-up attack, that is. What? Just grab you over there? <laughs> okay, okay. Dude, I keep failing that. Alright, I need to look at a replay if I can break out of this, because this is so long. Like, does it actually do this much damage? And for the moves that I'm trying to memorize, I just have to spam them and just overuse them a lot. Whoa, what was that? Is it like a parry she has or something? Azucena was like a really hard character to fight against, I think, because she just has so many like dancing moves and they look so similar that it was really hard to differentiate what was like a low or something. Use more grabs. Oh, get me off. And then just from messing around in the controls during like the ranked games, I found out about this move, back four. She steps back a little bit and it's it's pretty good range. Oh, I can't crouch dash on that. That move, I think that, that was pretty good. And then I found this hilarious looking move. My three and four, roly poly on the ground. When people have rage art, to play a lot more safer. I just keep just going in. You won't see this coming. My two low. That like hits low. Whoa, what is happening? Oh God. <laughs> Go to hell. <laughs> oh, I died. But then I did the literal same tactic to get my second win. I think kills. Yeah. That's so sick. <laughs> All right, 770. But the thing is, spam rage art is just not good. It's better if I use it when they're in the middle of doing a move. Oh, we got it. Now, this was a close round, dude. Oh, I barely came back, brother. Man, I fight for these wins, dude. But yeah, Tekken is a hard game. Like this Raven player, we're like on the third set and he's never used this move before and it just caught me off guard. But this game just has so many moves, a lot of depth. Bro, what the frick? Whew. It's getting hard, it's getting hard. And then someone gave me a little advice. If I hold down after the Hell Sweep 2, I go into Heaven's Wrath stance. And then from Heaven's Wrath, I could do way too much different types of mix-ups. So I didn't want to overload myself and I just focus on crouch dashing from Wrath. And then obviously I could do whatever move comes from crouch dash. Yeah, this character is way harder than I thought. Anyway, so we match against our first Lily. And she's very weird. Like she has moves that you think it's like your turn. But then she just turns it around on you, and then her, her attacks, like, continue. Damn. Lily go crazy, dude. And honestly, this Lily knew, like, a lot of moves. Like, she was just using her whole arsenal, all her low attacks and stuff. Oh, what? That's so slow, and I can't react to it.
Dang, this is a slide move, dude. But at the end, the game got really, really close. Yes, I won. Let's freaking go. Oh, we're so close to sinking down. Just a simple punch. Boom, boom. <laughs> and sometimes you just gotta remember to slow down in neutral, you know? Ooh. Be patient. And then remember when I said about Heaven's Wrath stance that there was a lot of mix-ups and options to do from it? Yeah, so I ended up doing this one. Wrath into two. Whew. Let's go. Dude, things are clicking in my brain. Like, I'm starting to remember, like, a lot more stuff. And then we matched against a victor for the first time. Probably in my top three most hated characters, man. What? He's pressing buttons. Whoa, attack on Titan. Whoa! What? Who is this guy, dude? Bro, what the crap is that? Wait, you could just continue the combo? Bro, what? How many types of poke attacks does this guy have? Is the gun you have to like duck it or something? I hate him because he like teleports around and he's just like so fast with his mix ups. No way, dude. That that's mid, right? Was I blocking mid? Game 23, we play against Jin for the first time, and he just feels uh, like completely different from his Tekken 7 counterpart. Like, I feel like he could just move around his body and just mix you up super hard. But honestly, I was getting mixed up by, like, every character. Oh, man, this game is hard, man. I'm just freaking hell. Holy crap. What? That's plus? That is crazy, dude. And from here, it was going to be rough because... At this point in the challenge, I end up getting my biggest losing streak, 14 losses in a row. Damn. And I was having trouble, like, just getting in. This Brian would block almost everything that I had, and I didn't mix up well, and it was just, it was just a hard time, to be honest. Ugh, man. Game 27, played against Devil Jin for the first time, and this set was crazy. Had my butt clenching mega hard <laughs> i was i was so nervous dude come on oh oh barely got the come on i gotta take this win bro those are crazy All right, here we go, here we go. We're getting the damage on. Oh God, no. Oh. No, no. <laughs> I wanted to win that one so bad, dude. And then I found out about this nice low poke move. Oh, down back two does way more damage than I thought. I gotta use that move more. And trying to get myself out of autopilot, I look at my second modder and I look at the moves I'm barely doing and just try to bring those back. Yeah, and forward four. Do this more. <laughs> Three times in a row. Let's go. And I think a lot of time I assume a move is launch punishable if it looks slow, but I should really be on the safer side and do a quicker move. Oh, dang it. Oh, man. That was fun. That was close, dude. And against another Yoshi, 
I realize that it's pretty hard when you're at a certain range with him. Because, I mean, he has a sword. He could just outrange you and just do so many crazy moves, dude. <sighs> Should I look at replays? And then I found out about this one secret trick that I wish I knew last video when I played Kazuya. Bro, I just saw this tip online. And if I set two and three on a left bumper or a left trigger on my controller, I could actually do electric wind god fists way more consistently. And this is with two plus three. So much more consistent. What the heck? And I also learned some new combos too, such as two slide one into walk up one plus two. And I'm also going to try and implement this combo off of DF4, then DF1, one, one, four, two, three into crouch dash one, four. And immediately I try to hit the DF4 combo. Oh, I can't do it in a match. Dude, why are combos so hard in an like, actual match? What? Oh my god, I'm boosted. What am I doing? Whew. Okay. And the funny thing is, if I had the exact same neutral, but I just had combos that did a little bit more damage, I'd probably win every round here. Oh my... Oh my god. Spamming Rage Art is a pretty hard bad habit to break. Ready this game. <laughs> but I wanted to hit the stuff I just learned, so I just kept trying. Oh, I think I hit, that was the first time I hit the I-13. All right, we're getting there, we're getting there, we're learning, we're learning. But I ended up finding out that grabs can beat out the heat smashes. Oh, that gets beat? Alrighty. Dude, sometimes, dude, like... Their knockback is so far, I can't even punish it. Even though it's like, like that's such a good move. Dude, what I feel like I can't even, like when I'm too close, I don't really have like good options like to do. I did a little bit more research and once they splat on the wall right here, I could do jab into down four one. So I was focusing on my down forward four and my new stuff I learned for wall pressure and wall splat. Ooh, that was a, everything I've been learning, bro. Let's go. And then we finally won a game after the 14 loss streak. Finally won. Holy, 1560. Just uh, don't get confused with trying to grab a Rage Art instead of a Heat Smash. Uh-oh. Yeah, it sucks. And then it dawned upon me that sidestepping moves is really good. Whew. Okay, sidestep. Let's go, brought it back, baby. Oh, we in fighters at 2160, dude. Let's go. Game 38, we played against a Leo, and the amount of damage he does is just like crazy. Oh my god! I saw a new move from an enemy Reyna that I have never seen before. What? That kills me? Oh my god, dude. Devil Jin has a unblockable move. You literally have to duck it. Oh. And I know there's no, like, tier lists out yet, but Devil Jin really does feel like a top tier. Like, this frame data is crazy. Oh, what the frick are these combos? Bro, 
brother, what the frick? Brother, I'm not blocking. What the heck is this character? Honestly, Leo's the most confusing character. He has so many ways that he could just go low from his like stances and from his heat moves. Dang, the mix up. Sometimes it's just so hard to, oh my God, so much stuff to worry about, dude. Like when he puts his knee up, he could do way too much stuff. They're all fast options. <laughs> I'm so bad at this game. Oh my god! I feel like I can't do anything! And ah uh, yes, my favorite character to play against. My favorite teleporting victor. Like, how do you react to this when he, he... He could do so much stuff too. What? This man just stabbing me everywhere! Dude, what are these, like, combos, dude? What? I swear I was blocking. Dude, I straight up need a PhD studying Victor to play against him, dude. Like, what, what, do, I, what do I do? Dude, what is this? Bro, this guy is so many different options. I did a little research, and I could actually go into heat activation from my Heaven's Wrath stance. And so it turns out you do duck his stupid blue laser gun shooting move. Yeah, his gun. His gun is high. Dodge the gun. Get in there. I am like negative 30 frames right now, and this man could have jabbed, but no, he didn't want to jab here. He's going to kill me. Stupid. Is he do the full thing? He's <laughs> doing the full animation. Oh! Okay, after gun, he could do the big one. I gotta keep that in mind. Big slash. Ah, is that high? Please. Yes. Yes! My first victor win, baby! But I was feeling good because I was slowly figuring out what he could do off of certain animations. So it's a mix up. What, a lag switch in my combo? <laughs> what is this? Oh, that's the first time I hit it from a uh, counter hit back four. Dang. Stupid reject Osman. It's better to dodge the mid. Yeah, because the. He could go back in? That's sh that's just like not fair, low key. No, oh, one more. One more. Just got to hit one more. But it seems like you could dodge most of his moves being highs in the mix up. Whew. Got me on the ropes. I don't want to lose that one. And then check out what I hit for the first time. Ooh, hitting my, I think my first electric wind god fist, like, in the actual match. And then I did something that I never thought I would do, especially against a Yoshimitsu. Okay, that has to be my first perfect. And from the Tekken 7 video, I thought I saw all the gimmicks that Yoshimitsu can do, but uh, I was wrong. This might kill me. <laughs> this man just threw up on me. Here we go. Oh, doesn't reach the whole way. Whoa, that launches me. And then we played against our first Steve player, and honestly, I feel like I would have ran into him sooner. What is he doing, dude? Oh, 
Oh, I just need one hit. Oh, he got his freaking health back. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh, 2860 strategist, brother. And then game 52, we played against a Dragonaw for the first time. I'm also surprised facing him, like, it took this long. What? How was I... How can I not get my jab through that certain, like, attack he did? That's crazy. I think this is the first time I truly did the right ender and the full combo ending with the crouch dash one four. Ooh, clutch down out, brother. I just realized I should do that ender when I'm near the wall because I can't do my two, 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 my two, four times. And now to end the game, I had to hit the two slide one input into one plus two. Was I going to miss it again? Oh, I missed it. Oh, barely got that. Let's go. And then Nina for the first time. So this was an experience. Whoa, the back kick? Is that intentional? Whoa, whoa, I'm getting shot. I also added some other mix-ups to what I should do under after the Wrath stance. And I could actually grab after Wrath, but I just haven't hit it yet. No! <laughs> Oh, so damn close, dude. Oh, so close. Even though I lost a set, I was picking up some knowledge of playing against her, such as she would do a high after her two jab move. Woo. Okay, I just gotta think more. I'm not thinking. And then you have players like this Brian who mixes up so much that I it won't allow me to remember and download what moves the enemy has. I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh my god. I got destroyed in like one minute. And your boy unlocked a new mix up that I finally hit. Oh, finally. Have I ever got that? But to win, I just had to stay calm and try out other moves, doing slight research here and there on certain moves. One of them being the down forward three at plus four. The clutch, I just remembered about my three and four as a good move. But I was so thirsty for doing grab after my wrath stance and uh, I just, I'm too predictable. Damn. This game gave me war flashbacks from game 39, dude. Is this kill? <laughs> Let's go. And then the exact same situation happened on the last round of the game. Pretty sure. Yeah, I'm dead here. Very nice, very nice, very nice. I learned, if they're just gonna stay on the floor, I could just wait them out. <laughs> Bro, he's just, it's so sus when they wait on the ground like that, like they're gonna do wake up low attack, dude. I'm gonna do this, brother. Dang, he's ripped! So I thought I could be like other characters and connect a combo into Heat Smash, but uh, no. Oh God. What am I doing, dude? And then I told myself when I was done with a gaming session for the day, I was going to give my afterthoughts, and this is only when I remembered. I am still almost have, like, everything on my second monitor in my brain, like, mentally, and I don't know if Electric Wing God Fist is, like, really hard to hit an actual game when, like, you're, uh, I guess nervous or whatever. I think I just got to get used to, like, other characters more, and then I got to do Forward for 2 more because it's pretty safe and then i didn't realize this at the time but i actually go into sentai stance if i hold forward after forward forward two and i could also go into sentai stance after one one two which is really huge and then i can mix up what i do after sentai stance with this low move so i just gotta do more like of stuff like that in my game plan i think so now i'm green reina because i guess we have the same color and ah uh, man her neutral was just way better than mine Dude, I can't. 
And Reyna has like 140 moves, so I didn't study her like move list or anything. So it was cool that this the enemy Reyna was doing stuff I haven't seen. Whoa, wait, what move was that? I don't even know what move she used. And now I had a bad habit, because after 112, I would just immediately hold back as a habit. But now knowing that Sentai stance after 112 is good, it's like hard to get it in my mental stack. Take this Sen, what am I doing? There we go. But yeah, I was learning a lot while playing um, against this enemy, and I really wanted to win this set. I'm dead. That was good. Dang rage art, man. GG's. So I did some more research, and you could actually force yourself into Heaven's Wrath stance by just pressing down and 1 plus 2. And I wanted to hit more heat activation combos such as down forward 1 into 2. And so that's what I was going to work on. And then we played against Claudio for the first time, and he didn't really mix up stuff like his attacks. So if he's able to do rage, I gotta watch block his rage in. Yep. <laughs> and that's launch punishable, baby! Oh. oh. I'm dead. Ooh! God damn you! And I was starting to feel myself. I was, I was starting to flex some stuff. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> Again. So on my second modder, I actually have every option I can do after the Wrath Stance, but I finally looked over on it and I saw that I could actually turn the Wrath Stance into a parry if I'm in heat. Parry! That was so good. Launch punishable. So one strategy I was going to do is just force a heat activation move with DF1 and then go right into Wrath for a parry. Or a mix-up. Any do anything, really. Into this. Spam this. That beats it. He's going to try to do Rage Art. We're well done with this. Unless he just does a... A move like that. Oh, come back to it, baby. I'm catching up to Papa John's, dude. I'm catching up to him. Now, Reyna doesn't really have a move that's faster than 15 frames when she's in full crouch. So a Dragonov that spams highs, it's really hard to get in, I feel like. What the frick do I get in? And it also doesn't help when Dragonov puts me into crumple or he forces me into crouch. I don't know what the actual term is called. Dude, when I put in crouch, when he forces me in crouch, it's like, I have no good options. And then I noticed something on this move right here. Wait, sidestep four on counter it. I think I could lead to like certain things actually. I'm gonna have to try that out more. Oh God, no. Oh, he's so scary in his heat. Oh my. Dude, what move? I didn't even see that move before. And sometimes my combo drops. I don't know if it's because the game's 3D and then like they're not like angled right enough or something. Let me know in the comments. What? Why does it not work sometimes? Oh my god. Why uh why does it not scoop up for the combo? It's doing the same inputs. I think Reyna has like the poor man's like roly poly move or something because her down forward 3 plus 4 isn't as good as like Xiao Shoes or like I see other people that have similar moves but I still get hit by mids. That move sucks. It's, it's not like a true like I thought I would dodge like mid attacks or something. And then it happened again. Dude what? Am I doing it too early? Okay. And then it works this time, so I really don't know why. I'm pretty sure I'm hit, trying the best to hit the execution or something. All right, come on. Do your rage. Do your rage art. You have it. Come on. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Man, there's so many moves that I'm just, like, forgetting to, like, use that I should be using, to be honest. And then I forget to do the stupid move after my spin stance. Oh, here we go. Launch punch. <clears throat> All right, brought it back. 
Oh, wait. It dodges high. Wait, wait. Back four dodges highs also? Ah! Launch punishable. <clears throat> I should end with my one and two when he's on wall like that, because it does really big damage, and when it gets on the wall, it gets a little weird. I don't know if my combo could work. And then we played against Xiaoyu for the first time. Whoa, whoa, what? Good to know that's launch punchable. I would cry. <laughs> what the frick? That hits and I'm still like minus? Oh, this thing breaks on the stage? Oh, I don't know any like combos off of the stage breaking. I'm freaking dead. She could combo into that? What? <laughs> Just some funky low crap, dude. And then I accidentally found out about this move after Sentai Stance. I didn't even know you could grab from there. What? Bro, what the? Oh, this part's sick. For big jump moves, I need to at least try to jab punish it or something with a fast move. Oh, I'm dead. So, is it just me or is anyone else having trouble with Dragonov, man? His character is so crazy. What the frick? Like, what can I actually do? Like, what? Why does he... I literally hit my launch move and he literally just stood still. Also found out trying to do Rage Art in the middle of my combo just does only one hit. Can I do this? Oh, this character, dude. Dude, that move is deceivingly fast. It's so strong. Dude, oh my god. God, this character is so busted. Oh, that move is so good on Wake Up. What the heck? Dude, that low is so dumb. Just like the last video, bro. I hate that move. Ezio? And honestly, Shaheen seems like a pretty honest character. I haven't noticed like any gimmicks or anything that he has. The comeback is real! And then I finally remembered after my Sentai, I should do my only low move after it. Woo! Mixing the low after Sen, let's go. I got promoted to Brawler. <laughs> I hit that? Just like from game 62, I need to remember to just wait for them to do Rage Art and just play more patiently and safer. Come on, come on. Oh, big mistake. <laughs> Grave mistake, dude. Oh, man. Feels good. Feels good. And I think this is the first time I use, like, wall consideration because when they're on the wall, it will just immediately end your combo. So I sidestep so that I could have room. Sheesh! I think that's the first time I like stepped away from the wall. Like I was like, okay, I'm gonna side several the wall so that he could go more to like the centers of the stage. Let's go! We going up, baby. 5190. This Yoshimitsu was spamming his grabs, and I didn't know how to break it. I think that's both hands. Okay, that that is two hands. I, I gotta get ready for that. And I'm kind of proud of um, mixing up some stuff and getting this combo. <laughs> Mixing them up so hard there. Okay, wait. I did. I did press the two hand to counter that thing. 
How did... Okay, this is ridiculous. <laughs> what the frick, dude? Dude, what? <laughs> I keep getting grabbed. And then finally, I got it. Yeah, it is two hands. Okay. Oh. Whoa, what, what did I just do? Wait, I could do that from down back one or whatever? I'm spamming it. Damn Yoshis, dude. In every game. Every game. A Yoshi in every game, dude. Melee. Yoshi's stupid. I constantly felt like with against certain players, I was just getting knowledge checked the whole time rather than getting like outspaced or something. What the crap? Bro, he has so much like crushes, crushing moves, dude. <laughs> what is up with this guy? Dude, that's so dumb. Wow, I'm stupid. Bro, what the heck is... Oh my god, that's so... How do I get hit by that? Oh, that's so cool. People, that he's Scorpion. Or like, based on him. Oh yeah, I also customize Rana, because why not? And then I somehow accidentally put assist mode on, so none of my real buttons work or something. So this rank game didn't count in my mind. And now I face against Brian, and really, it's just trying to really figure out I need to know what moves they can do from other moves and just put that in my brain. Bro, that wall combo is so strong, dude. Uh, I feel like I had to level up my wall combos. But I kind of had a hunch that he was using a lot of moves that had long startup, so as long as I could beat him to it by doing faster moves, I could get in. Pretty sure this kills. <laughs> he put it. Let's go. What do we get? Are we just like? Do we get plus zero? Once again, I love this move. Well, if I hit it. <laughs> love that parry move, dude. But yeah, I was in the zone this set, and this was close, too. Ooh, very nice. I was locked in. Holy crap. That was fun. That was fun. We at Ranger 5790. And then we have Leo again. And I'm starting to notice that a lot of his moves startup wise is so fast. So they're probably like really long on the end recovery. So against him, I honestly should have been playing more defensive now that I look at it. Bro, he hits so freaking hard each move. I probably died in like four neutral interactions. He dabbed on me. What? Why does he hit so hard? Actually crazy. And just when I thought I saw all the cheese that Yoshimitsu could do. Dude, that, that move is like impossible to react to. What? That move is so dumb. Bro, what is that stupid move? I just realized that you could choose who has Ethernet. Like, it shows if they're connected to Ethernet or Wi-Fi. That's actually goaded. I didn't just realize that at the bottom right, it was a Wi-Fi symbol. Since the game's new, there's so many people playing. I queue up in, like, one second anyway. But then I played a Brian that played more defensively, and it was rough. That's just great. And then I hate this crap, because I'm on the wall for like 10 seconds. Like, what is this? Dude, holy crap. 
feel like I don't know what to do when they're on the wall besides like hitting the stomp on the floor. It's so customizable, I feel like, in Tekken. Like, there's so much ways you could do, like, wall attacks. Ah, uh, yes, wall wrong, where he could just stand on one foot and juke you and do feints. Dude, those, like, mix-ups are so crazy. But since I'm not used to playing Ho wrong, even though I do duck here, I still just get punished. Damn. It's been so long, I, I don't even remember that I did hit this. Oh, I finally hit that. I don't think I've ever hit that. What the? Dude, Devil Chain has some cool, like, crazy rushdown. Like, he just gets in your face. It's actually ridiculous. Dude, that, that goes back move? That move is so good. What? Is that a grab? Oh, what the frick? Okay, at least I could <laughs> I could jab after that move. Yeah, damn. Finally, holy. Woo! Holy moly, I feel like I barely won that or brought that back, dude. And I guess if the move has a longer animation, I think it's easier to sidestep. Oh, thank God you could sidestep that. Fun fact, I will never win against Kazuya in this challenge. <laughs> oh, God. Dude, oh, am I failing this, man? <laughs> I remember trying to lab out that counter hit combo in my Kazuya video. But I guess he could go into heat from there. Like, that's... I feel like that's so strong. Oh, Jun? I think I've ever, yeah, I don't think I've ever played against her. And it's been a while since we played against a new character, so everything was just super foreign. Uh, I just feel like I can't go in, I can't get in like against these players, man. What the heck was that? Oh my God. Oh my god, I'm at like 1 HP, dude. Yeah, what? That like holy effect or something? Like damages her. That's very interesting. Damn, dude. And then now, it was the final game. Game 100. Alright, I gotta use everything I learned on the last game here. I'm gonna try play super patient, see how it gets me. Whoa! Great, what a time to flub my combos, dude. Scared is cool, though. Oh! That barely missed, I feel like. Oh my god. Fastest match in the West. I suck so at, dude. I'm so bad at this game, dude. Oh my god, I'm so terrible, dude. All right, so ending thoughts of the game. I think the game has been a blast, especially playing with all of the new players and stuff. I don't know how well Ranger actually is or how good that is because I only got to blue ranks in Tekken 7, and you can't even lose Elo, like yet. I guess in the ranking ladder, I think you have to be higher up. But I think so far, Reyna was a lot harder than Kazuya that I when we played Kazuya last video. But that's just from a noob's perspective, I guess. I felt like I was just always constantly forgetting all of her tools. And I didn't even like, she has way more tools than I could like even go through in 100 games, let alone remember them and then just pull them out in mix-ups. But I love the character and she's really fun. So so yeah, expect more Tekken content coming and thank you all to my patrons that help support me. You guys are the real ones. And of course the true ones that watch this whole video. Thank you so much. Peace.